The icy coldness of the night seeped into my apartment through the cracked window, sending a shiver down my spine as I anxiously awaited the arrival of the Uber. I glanced at my phone for what felt like the hundredth time, the eerie glow of the screen casting haunting shadows across my face. According to the app, the driver, who went by the name Dark Black, was just a few minutes away. Finally, a wave of relief washed over me as I grabbed my coat and purse preparing to step out into the darkness of the empty street. As I stood on the curb, a sleek black car pulled up beside me, its presence both mysterious and intriguing. The driver's window rolled down, revealing a figure cloaked in shadows. Are you Hazel? A voice called out from within, causing a shiver to run down my spine. For a moment I hesitated, unsure of what awaited me in that enigmatic vehicle. Yet, despite the unease that gripped me, I mustered the courage to reply, my voice barely audible. Yes, that's me. Great, hop in, the driver said, the tone devoid of any warmth or familiarity. Once again, doubt crept into my mind, urging me to reconsider. But the biting wind and the allure of warmth within the car compelled me to push aside my reservations. With a mixture of trepidation and curiosity, I slid into the back seat, the door closing behind me with a foreboding thud. The car's interior was shrouded in darkness, with only the soft glow of the dashboard lights providing any illumination. I stole a quick glance at the driver, but his features remained concealed beneath the shadows of his hood. Where are we going? The driver asked, his voice devoid of any emotion. Um, 45 Elm Street, please, I replied, my voice quivering slightly. Without uttering a single word, the driver smoothly pulled away from the curb, the car gliding through the deserted streets like a ghost in the night. I tried to calm my nerves, reassuring myself that I was just being overly anxious. After all, I had taken numerous Uber rides in the past without any issues. However, as the minutes ticked by, an unsettling feeling settled over me like a suffocating blanket. I peered out of the window, my heart pounding in my chest, as I realized that we were no longer heading towards my apartment. Excuse me, I think you missed a turn, I stammered, my voice tinged with anxiety. The driver remained silent, his hands gripping the steering wheel with an unnatural tightness. My heart raced as the car continued down unfamiliar streets, the dimly lit buildings looming over me like silent sentinels. Panic began to claw its way up my throat as I realized that I was completely at the mercy of this mysterious driver. I fumbled for my phone, my fingers trembling as I tried to open the Uber app to cancel the ride. But to my horror, I discovered that there was no signal, leaving me stranded in the dark abyss of the unknown. Desperation set in as I pounded on the partition separating me from the driver. Let me out! Please, just let me out! I pleaded, tears streaming down my face. But the driver remained impassive his eyes fixed on the road ahead as the car continued its relentless journey into the heart of darkness. My mind raced with terrifying possibilities, each more horrifying than the last. Was this a twisted game? Or was there something far more sinister lurking beneath the surface? As I sat in the car, my anxiety reached its peak, and I couldn't bear the uncertainty any longer. Abruptly, the vehicle came to a halt in front of a desolate warehouse, casting an eerie shadow over everything. The driver slowly turned towards me, his face still concealed by the darkness of his hood. A shiver ran down my spine as he uttered those bone-chilling words, we've arrived. My hands trembled uncontrollably as I reached for the door handle, my heart pounding so loudly in my ears that it drowned out all other sounds. I was determined to escape this nightmare. However, just as I was about to make my desperate run for freedom, the driver's iron grip clamped down on my arm sending a shockwave of icy coldness through my body. His voice, dripping with malevolence, pierced the air. Where do you think you're going? Panic consumed me, and I let out a piercing scream, my mind overwhelmed by terror. I fought with every ounce of strength I had left, but it was futile. The driver's inhuman strength overpowered me effortlessly. As darkness enveloped my senses, a sinking dread settled in my heart. 
and I realized that my chances of survival were slim to none. The driver's grip tightened around me, his fingers like steel claws digging into my flesh as panic threatened to suffocate me. I suddenly realized that I was completely at the mercy of this sinister figure, my heart pounding loudly as I managed to break free with a surge of adrenaline. Without any hesitation, I forcefully opened the car door and sprinted into the darkness, my feet pounding against the pavement as I ran blindly into the night. The sound of echoing footsteps behind me filled me with terror, urging me to run faster despite my burning lungs, desperately searching for a way to escape from this horrifying situation. Despite my best efforts, it felt as though I was running in circles, inexplicably drawn towards the looming shadows of the abandoned warehouse like a moth to a flame. The dread in my stomach grew stronger with each passing moment, as if an unseen force was guiding me towards an inevitable and terrifying fate. As exhaustion threatened to consume me, I stumbled upon a narrow passage, its depths engulfing me in darkness. Desperately seeking refuge, I pressed my back against the chilling brick wall, gasping for air as my heart raced uncontrollably. Time seemed to stretch endlessly as I anxiously waited, my senses heightened, straining to detect any sign of my pursuer. Yet, as the minutes ticked by, a glimmer of hope flickered within me, suggesting that I had successfully evaded capture. However, that hope was swiftly shattered by a bone-chilling growl that pierced the silence of the night, emanating from the very shadows that surrounded me. A surge of terror coursed through my veins as I realized I was not alone. The predator that hunted me was closing in for the final strike. Trembling, I reached into my pocket, seeking solace in the familiar shape of my phone. Yet, my trembling hands were met with a horrifying revelation. The battery had died, leaving me defenseless against the unspeakable horrors lurking in the darkness. As I found myself trapped in the narrow alleyway, I had no choice but to rely on my instincts. With each step I took, my heart pounded in my chest, a constant reminder of the impending danger that awaited me. Just as I braced myself for the worst, a sudden movement caught my attention. Emerging from the darkness was a figure, its twisted and contorted form sending shivers down my spine. I couldn't tear my eyes away from its soulless gaze, a chilling reminder that this was no ordinary threat. It was something far more sinister something that defied all logic and reason. As the creature closed in on me, its eyes gleaming with a predatory hunger, I felt a wave of dread wash over me. This nightmare was far from over, and I was nothing more than a helpless victim in the face of the unknown. The creature's shadow loomed over me, casting a dark cloud that I knew would haunt me for the rest of my days. In the depths of the night, no one is safe from the horrors that lurk just beyond the reach of light. The creature drew nearer, its repulsive figure illuminated by the faint light seeping through the narrow alley. Panic surged through my mind, causing my thoughts to race in desperation. I desperately scanned my surroundings, hoping to find an escape route, but the alleyway offered no solace, only dead ends and menacing shadows. Pressed against the chilling brick wall, I summoned every ounce of bravery within me. I knew I had to fight to defy the paralyzing grip of fear that threatened to engulf me. With an unnatural swiftness, the creature lunged towards me, but my instincts kicked in. I swiftly evaded its grasp, darting past it and disappearing into the darkness of the alley. My heart pounded in my ears as I sprinted, the sound of my footsteps reverberating off the walls, propelling me towards the faint glimmer of moonlight at the end of the alley. However, just as I approached the threshold of freedom, an unexpected force crashed into me from behind sending me crashing to the ground with a bone-shaking impact. The pain was excruciating as I landed on the cold pavement, my head spinning with dizziness. I struggled to regain my bearings, desperately trying to shake off the disorientation that threatened to overwhelm me. As I hoisted myself onto my hands and knees, I came face to face once again with the menacing creature, its twisted figure casting a shadow of dread over me. Driven by an innate urge to survive, I hastily shuffled backwards, my hands desperately clawing at the slippery surface beneath me in a frantic attempt to create some distance between myself and the looming threat. However, the creature showed no signs of relenting, its sinister stare piercing through me with an unyielding focus. With each deliberate step it took in my direction, a wave of fear surged through me, 
threatening to shatter my already fragile composure. In a final act of self-defense, I reached out for anything within my grasp, my fingers closing around a discarded metal pipe. Quivering with adrenaline, I raised the makeshift weapon in a feeble attempt to ward off the impending danger, clinging to a sliver of hope that it would be enough to deter my assailant. Yet, as the creature drew nearer, its visage contorting into a grotesque mask of hunger and malevolence, I realized the daunting reality of my situation. With no escape route in sight and my options dwindling, I braced myself for the inevitable clash, knowing that the odds were stacked against me in this harrowing confrontation. As the monstrous being lunged forward, its claws gleaming dangerously, a sudden burst of light cut through the darkness, flooding the alleyway with blinding brightness. I shielded my eyes, momentarily disoriented by the unexpected illumination. When my vision finally adjusted, I was met with the imposing figure of a police officer, his gun pointed directly at the creature. His authoritative voice boomed through the alley, demanding the creature to back down without hesitation. The officer fired a warning shot into the air, causing the creature to recoil in fear at the sound. It seemed as though the mere presence of the officer was enough to drive the creature back into the shadows. With a final growl, the creature disappeared into the night, leaving me shaken but unscathed. The officer extended a helping hand, and as I stood up, a wave of gratitude washed over me for his timely intervention. With trembling hands, I reached for my phone and dialed 911, recounting the harrowing encounter that had just taken place. The officer stood by my side, a reassuring presence in the aftermath of the terrifying ordeal. After enduring the terrifying ordeal, I found myself confronted with the harsh reality of what had transpired. The haunting memory of that pivotal Uber journey would forever haunt me, serving as a stark reminder of the potential risks that exist beyond our everyday awareness. However, within the depths of fear and uncertainty, I discovered a sense of peace in knowing that I had persevered, that I had confronted genuine terror and emerged more resilient as a result. Stepping into the dawn of a fresh day, I made a solemn promise to cherish the precious blessing of life like never before.